Um, because, like, I've done stupid stuff with money. Hello, everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm Ian Chaffin, author of books. A lot of books. Not really a lot, but almost a lot. Hopefully one day. And teller of things. Yeah, that's what I'm going with this year. And today we are going to be talking about should writers actually do writing courses? Like, should you go out, buy a course, or buy access to a course, and have that to improve your writing? The answer may be yes, it may be no, it may be... <laughs> oh, you're funny. It all just depends on where you're at in your writing career. And it depends how much money do you actually want to spend? Now, before we get too deep into this conversation, let me just say this. To improve your craft, there's always two options. You can do the option of paying a lot of money to get things, or you could do the option of spending a lot of your time to find things that will help you. Either option leads to you actually doing work. It doesn't matter how many writing courses you buy. It doesn't matter how many writing books you buy. It does not matter how many pins on Pinterest you pin, or how many likes on Instagram you do, or how many, you know, videos here on YouTube you watch. If you don't actually learn anything, and if you don't apply what you have learned, then it's all a bunch of waste of time. Like, entirely. And I'm saying this with love. I know there are some people who are like, oh yes, I'm the best writer ever and I don't have to do anything. In all honesty, those people, they're not actually going to get anywhere. Even if their writing is really good, it will never improve. Ever. And that's kind of sad. And then you have the people who are like, I'm the worst thing ever. Like, I can't improve no matter what. <laughs> and those people will never improve because they doubt that they can actually expand beyond what they have right now. Um, that's a limited mindset. If you have one of those, don't worry. You can always change it, but it's not going to help you. And if you're either one of those cases, I say don't buy a writing course at all. Figure out how to actually respect yourself. You need to demand of yourself some discipline, some respect, and just overall, improve your outlook on life. If you don't have a good outlook on your life, like, hey, I may be living in a crappy apartment with bugs going everywhere and all that, but it could change. It's possible. If you don't have that kind of aspect on your life, you're not going to get anywhere. Like, your life may not be super terrible, but your outlook on it may be terrible. So yeah, improve that first. Besides that, you could be the type of author like me. I do have really good skills in certain places of writing, but I could always improve them. Even if they're like super high, I could always get higher. Or if they're low, I could get them higher. So, you know, both ways, it doesn't matter what my skills are, I can always improve. I also know that I love writing. I love writing so much, I want to make it a career. I want to be able to put in that much time and effort, possibly money, and all of that to actually improve on my skills. Now, of course, if you are just someone who has writing as a hobby, that doesn't mean that, you know, you can't improve. That just means you probably shouldn't buy like $100 to $1,000 to $2,000 worth of writing courses. It's not worth it as a hobby, and in all honesty, other hobbies that can cost even more money than writing, like cosplay. <laughs> even with those types of hobbies, you're not just going to drop money to be like, oh, hey, I'm going to take this course that may or may not work because reasons. But needless to say, if you think you should go out and get a writing course, great. Awesome. Before you do, though, let's actually check on different writing courses that you could potentially you know, have. Now, since I don't want to make this video super, super long, I'm not going to go over every single course out there. I can't. I will tell you, though, that I have actually spent $300 on a writing course, like, long, long ago. It's, it's been a while. I forget what it was, um, who it was even by, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. That was 
was a dumb decision. Like, I shouldn't have spent that money. I, uh, I should have saved that money for, like, an editor or, you know, someone else instead of a writing course. So, let's get into some of the writing course choices that I randomly picked out of nowhere. Go. Alright, so we're here at my lovely computer, which is just behind me, usually, and I've looked up four things. So, Masterclass, Vivian Reese, Kristen Martin, and just randomly writing courses. So I picked Kristen Martin and Vivian Reese because they, at least for me, are very well-known YouTubers and author people. I know there's a lot of other people out there who do writing courses and all that, but these are the first two that I've met, um, you know, when I was first getting into AuthorTube and WriteTube and, you know, being a dork, right? I picked Masterclass because it is very, very well-known. Like, they not only have big time authors, but they have big time authors and poets and all of that. They're not just like, oh hey, I'm big on YouTube. They're like, no, we actually have like, between all of them, hundreds and hundreds of books printed and it's it's ridiculous. Like, even if, if, if it was just James Patterson, like, come on, that dude has a crap ton of books out. Oh my gosh. Not to mention everyone else that's on there and they keep adding new people and of course i typed in writing classes into my search engine and it came up with the first one i clicked on that why because that's what people usually do around this time of year so you know just saying why not so we're going to go through them and see what they offer with their program or programs and see how much it would actually cost a person you know especially during this time of year so the first one i have up is master class and if you actually go through it and just do the writing. Okay, on here it says when writing, you have James Patterson, Aaron Sorkin, Judy Bloom. There are a lot of people like Joyce Carol Oates, Margaret Atwood, Malcolm Gladwell. I love his books. <laughs> so you have a lot of options and not just writers. And there are tons of people on here. And if you're like me, I'm the type of person who basically goes, you know, I could learn a lot from insert non-writer here. Like, I get a lot of my inspiration from films. I get a lot of my inspiration from anime, not just other books, which is amazing, right? <laughs> I get inspiration from real life. Who knew? So the question is, how much does it cost? So when Masterclass first started with James Patterson, it was only $99 for that class. Now, I can't seem to find the $99 for just one class, but I have found $15 a month billed annually. So if you times 15 by 12 months, because that's how many months are in a year, you get $180 for the year. But you don't get just one class, you get all of them. So if you were crazy and crazy awesome, you could just do one full year, do all the classes that they have at that moment for $180. One class or two classes for $180 by a writer that is like pretty, pretty well known, right? Whichever one you pick. Um, yeah, that, that seems pretty legit. Like, and that's the point too. Like you have not just access to one writer. You have access to a lot of them. It would only cost you $180 a year. And I say it that way because technically, even though it's $15 a month, they want you to buy the year access. You can't just do month by month by month because, you know, why would you? They wouldn't want that because if you're crazy, you could go through all the classes within a month. So it seems like a lot of the masterclass writing courses, most all of them only go over how to improve your craft. But, you know, you need to go beyond that if you want to actually get it published and, you know, market it in a really, really good way, you know, where people actually see your book and don't just go, oh, skip over it, right? So the second option is with Kristen Martin and her Valiance Coaching Program. Now, if you do keep up with drama or anything on AuthorTube and WriteTube, you would know that Kristen Martin kind of got into editing Liz here, and I just wanted to explain this part a little bit better than what I actually did when I was recording. So, yeah. So back in June 2019, some people who were following Kristen Martin and all that were wondering why she was selling advanced reader copies, or ARCs, of her books for $150. Um, before you're like, whoa, wait, what? 
please go see the video that I did on it. Um, it explains it a lot better than, you know, the headlines that you might see. And yeah, so it may not affect your decision to take her writing course or not, but you know, that is some history that some people might, you know, come up with when I say your name. So anyways, back to the video. So as you scroll down her page, you can see that Valiance goes over pretty much everything in the writing and publishing process. So it goes over pre-writing, you know, the brainstorming and all of that. It goes over the writing where you're actually writing the book. It goes down to editing, to publishing, and then to marketing. And it also covers maintenance and growth. It means that, you know, you're not just leaving the book out there in the void. You're actually, you know, reminding people of it. You're also watching how your book does and implementing plans that can help you still sell that book even when it's like a year, two years out from its original publishing date, which that could be really good for someone. So when you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it shows you what Valiance costs which she has three payment plans. The first package is a one-time payment of $1,997. So $2,000, because I like to round up. The second package, you pay over six months, meaning every two months you give her some monies, and that is six payments of $375, which if you take the $375 and times it by six months, you would pay $2,250. Package three, you pay monthly $200 each. Well, technically it says $199, but like I said, I round up. And if you do the math there, that's $2,400. So at the most, you would have to pay $2,400 to have the Valiance program. Now, at the time of this recording, I did see that you have lifetime access to it. That might be a bonus for people, but... $2,400 for anything that may or may not actually help you. Uh... Anyways, so now we go over to Vivian Reese's Dreamer to Doer writing course. You get over two hours of video and voiceover content to help you go from dreamer to doer. You get a 26 page workbook, a fully edited Gantt chart, which apparently helps you uh, go from the basic idea of a book to actually publishing a book. And then you get access to a private Facebook group, which you also get access to a f private Facebook group with Kristen Martin, I'm pretty sure. But yes, I love this though, because Vivian Reese actually puts down, this is not for people who just want to know how to write a book or for people not willing to put in work into the course. Um, and I love it when people say that because if you're not going to put in work, it doesn't matter how much money you spend on yourself, don't. You're not going to do the work, why would you put down money? That's a waste of money, a waste of your time, a waste of other people's times, and the only one who benefits from it is the person you just paid, but then you feel a little sour mm, towards because you didn't get what you wanted. But it's your fault for not putting in the work. So I'm glad she points that out. Uh, she's nicer about it than I am, but yes. There's, of course, the introduction, how to prepare uh, to write your book, time to act, meaning, you know, actually focusing and getting stuff done, and then common road roadblocks you would see along the way. So hers isn't necessarily how to write a book because that's what her YouTube channel is for, but hers is more like getting you into the mindset of writing a book and accomplishing it, not just saying, oh, I'm gonna write a book and then not do it. So I couldn't actually find a price on her Dreamer to Doer course because, you know, there's no sign up right now, so she doesn't have the price listed. But when she first came out with the course, she made a video, of course, about it. But at the time, she said it was $99 to sign up. So if she even goes up a little bit from that, you know, putting down $100 or maybe even 150 if, you know, she comes along, there's something to think about. So definitely way cheaper than the Kristen Martin and possibly cheaper than the Masterclass. So the last writing course is a writing courses, just like the Masterclass. Uh, this is the first thing that came up when I searched writing courses and it's the Great Courses Plus. So this is only one of their writing courses. There's actually a lot more on there. But, you know, yeah. Now this particular writing course that I picked on their website is actually by an award-winning, best-selling author, Professor James Scott Bell, JD. And he has 25 lectures on here, 
tell me a story, anatomy of a bestseller. So it looks like he doesn't just teach you how to write, but he teaches you structure that he's known for his books that actually work well for him. And he's teaching you that, you know, uh, dividing it up into three acts and what they mean, points of view, voice and style, how to find yours, um, actually getting published and the self-publishing option. So it seems like he d goes into, hey, you could do traditional publishing or you could do self-publishing. And he talks into that and all that loveliness and how to write short stories that tell all of that loveliness. As I was looking up prices for The Great Courses Plus, I did see that you can actually, you, you know, access Great Courses Plus, not just on your computer, but on like a Roku TV or anything like that. As long as, you know, you can get to the app and then sign in, you can do that. And like the masterclass, you can access any other, you know, courses. Now, as of right now, without the free trial and 50% off, if you did a monthly subscription, meaning paying every month, of course, uh, you would have to pay $20 a month. So if you did the writing course for a whole year, uh, it would cost you $240. If you did the writing course for just half a year, $120. They also have a quarterly subscription where you get charged $30 every three months because of course, you know, a quarter of a year is three months. And you can also cancel any time with either one of these. So this might be an option for you all, especially if you find other writing courses on The Great Courses Plus. I do want to add in that in their FAQ section, it does say that they do collect taxes for certain states. Make sure you look at that. And make sure you look at that for uh, Masterclass, Kristen Martin, Vivian Reese, anything that you buy, you know, especially online, especially even if it is just courses, you still want to know, hey, am I going to pay taxes? Because, you know, like on $2,000, 10% tax is 200. So that makes it bump up even more. So as you can see, there are actually a lot of choices that you could have for writing courses. And that could be a good thing or a bad thing. It could be like, oh, hey, look, I can learn from all these people. Or it could be like, oh, hey, look, I have no money to actually publish my book now. Yay. Or you could be somewhere in between, you know, just saying. Like anything, you do need to do your research, you know, beyond what I've given you in this video. Please do your research. Don't spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on a course or anything like that if you're not gonna be dedicated to it, if you don't even know who the hell the person is who's actually, you know, giving you the course, or if that person can't even show results. Because even if someone was like, I was this bestseller this one time, that means nothing. I would rather take a course from a bestseller of many, many things than a bestseller of one thing. So some of you may be thinking, well, what if I don't wanna take a course, or, you know, these seem like, whoa, I can't afford that right now, what do I do? So if you really want to take a specific course, save up the money. Like with anything, like with getting an editor, a book cover artist or anything like that, save up the money. Yeah, it may take you some time, but yes, save up the money. Another thing you could do is what I've done, buy and borrow books. Now I can go into length about this and I probably will have some review episodes of certain like how to write or writing books in general. But I've, you know, gotten some myself, like you can see right here and all that. Um, one example is this one. Ignore that. That was a ring someone gave me. Not like that ring, though. This book is The Fantasy Fiction Formula by Deborah Chester. Um, if you've heard of Jim Butcher, he's done the Dresden Files and all that. Uh, this was his mentor. So, yeah. I have read this book, and it's a pretty good book. I would suggest it to anyone who is very new at writing fantasy, especially if it's going to be high fantasy, but fantasy in general. This book will give you the foundation you'll need to build your writing career and to build your stories and all that. And um, it's, well, it doesn't actually say how much it is. It is, uh, I think I got mine for 15 on Amazon. It's been a while. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out though. But if you're absolutely broke, because you're either like a teenager who's just starting to love to write or you know you you might just be broke or you might just not want to spend any money at all and that's okay it's your money you use it how you need to use it but no matter what type of person you are a good thing to do is 
YouTube. Like I said before, Kristen Martin and Vivian Reese are YouTubers. They have videos that explain how they go about writing certain things. Uh, of course, there's this channel. I'm still growing, but I'll be putting on more and more videos about, you know, how to uh, do, you know, characters or how to do settings or, you know, how to like actually put your ideas into place and all that loveliness, you know, or whatever you all will suggest. So yes, that would be awesome to talk about in the comments. What would you all want to see from me? Because sometimes I'm just like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm just sitting here in front of my phone camera and acting awkward and weird. Hi. But besides those two, there are tons of people out there. Um, one of my favorites is Heart Breathings, Sarah Cannon. She talks a lot about it. She is actually a best-selling author and she's been going on for 10 years. She makes a six-figure income from her books. So if you want to check out her channel or anyone else I've mentioned, I have them all down below, of course, you know or you can search them up. But if you even just type in AuthorTube or WriteTube, there's so many people you can find here on YouTube that have free videos on stuff. So now it's up to you to decide what you'll do. Are you going to do a writing course? Are you going to do, you know, borrow or buy books? Or are you going to do YouTube stuff? But hey, it's your money, it's not my money. Uh, if you want to waste it, you can. I mean, if you want to spend it, you can. And with that said, I will see you all later, alligators. Bye-bye.